um, every potential. So, labda ni sungumuze kwa ile lugha wa Kenya watu watafahamu. Na yesa anza. So, ndugu zanguni eh, kutoka kwa media, mwakaribishwa National Police Service Headquarters. Um, tumeona ni vizuri, tusungumuze na nyinyi ndiyo mutusaindie kueleza wa Kenya wenzetu. E, kwa sababu kidogo tumesikia wananchi wafahamu e, kile kinaendelea. Ndivyo tumeona ni vizuri tuje tueleze muambie watu wetu watukufu, wananchi wa wa nchi yetu ambaye ni nzuri na tunaipenda. Ya kwamba kesho Jumatatu waje kazini. Kila mtu ile kazi ufanya kama ni kwenda shambani, kwenda ofisini, kwenda kwa duka lake, soko ama jambo lolote ambalo ndilo tegemeo lake. Wa Kenya wote waende kazi kesho. Um, niko na maofisa wenzangu wapa all the service commanders. Labda hila yuko ni DCI kwa sababu alikuwa kule Mombasa. Um, tuko tayari. Sisi ni kuwakikishia inchi yetu ni tulivu na salama. Every corner of this country is secure and safe. Kuna watu wachache ambao wamejaribu kutishia, kutisha na labda kusema kwa lugha ya kimombo intimidating fellow Kenyans this our country all of us si zote hii ni nchi yetu whether mtu mdogo ama mtu mkubwa either kwa utajiri ama kwa mwili sisi tuko sawa hii ni nchi yetu Na ningependa kuuliza wa Kenya wote wafurahie kuishi furahia kuwa kwa inchi yako ambaye Mungu alikupa. Tumesikia wengine wanasema sijui hata kesho wataleta vurugu jiji na Nairobi hakuna jambo kama hilo litafanyika. Tuko tayari kama kikosi cha polisi kuhakikisha kuna utulivu kwa inchi nzima. Na kwanza jiji letu la Nairobi tuko na wageni wengi kwa jiji letu many foreign missions na atutakubali kabisa kitu kibaya kifanyike kwa jiji letu na tumeamua tumeamua kama service commanders kesho watu wanaruhusiwa kuja city center uko huru kwenda mahali popote Lakini kama uko na nia ya kuleta vurugu uko armed na what we call offensive weapons mawe panga rungu utapata cha mtemakuni hilo nataka kuambia saa huu yeyote ako na huo mpango kesho kuleta vurugu kwa inchi yetu utakipata whichever level you are in the society, whichever status. Niko na rande kuruza isa kutosha kutupa wei nyuma ye rande kuruza. Kesho siweki mutu kwa parado, yote nita, shi, shi, nita, nita, nita arrest. Whoever you are, ni kurusha wei kwa rande kuruza nyuma, uende jela, ufungwe milele. Kwa hivo, ntarudia, you are armed with offensive weapon. Unatoka kwa estates. Kutoka kule tunakuona uka na nia ya kuleta vurugu. Tutakuundumia uko kwa estates. Na tuko tayari njameni. Tuko tayari. Tutadil na wewe uko kwa estates. Utabaki uko uko. Hakuna ambaye atarusiwa kuja kwa city center. Ati aribu mari. Kama kikosi cha polisi, we have really restrained ourselves. Najua tulikuwa na angalia, eh? mambo vidi anaenda, watu wanasema sava, tufungue sava. 
jameni hata mimi kama inspector general mimi sijaiona wewe sawa wewe sawa na kaje labda mnisaidie wewe sawa na kaje mimi sibujui mnyama na kaje anaitwa sawa si uliza wala na kaje na hii sawa kwa nini unataka kuchafua nchi kwa sababu kitu ambacho mwananchi wa kawaida afahamu mimi sifahamu kama inspector general those are political issues political issues which need political solution but when it comes to security, I've made it as an inspector general to ensure I protect life and property. And I'm very good at that. I will not sleep on the job. These politicians crossed the line in Kisumu. Wakati walivamia a function ambayo ilikuwa ya CAK, Communication Authority of Kenya wakavamia chakula ikaribiwa ikaibiwa wanaanza kuvunja eh, katrali kuharibu mali that is where they cross the line tukasema we have been restraining ourselves we cannot do that anymore we must come out as a police service to ensure law and order is maintained so huo ndio jumbe natoa pale kwa kila mtu asikie kesho jaribu utakiona whoever you are i will deal with you nimesikia <laughs> politicians nimeangalia last week wanaanza kutisha a regional commander wangu bungei tutashika wewe tutapeleka international court tuta... kwa nini unaogopa kome una deal na mdogo wangu deal with the kome i'm ready i'm the commander of the national police service the back stops with me. Don't start intimidating my junior officers. Kuna wengine wanaanza ku intimidate um, a young police woman, Maseno. Imejaa kwa social media. A constable. <laughs> Why don't you target the IG? Can I call them cowards? Face the IG. I'll deal with you as a law abiding citizen of this country. I have a job to do. And I will discharge that mandate without fear or favor. Wherever you are, I will deal with you. And you are Kenya, where now to live? Jameni, tuko na ototo wanazaliwa leo, ambao they have a future. I'm an old man. Why do I want to destroy this country? These children have a future. Can we give them a chance? I've enjoyed my life. To get to where I am, an old man, as Inspector General. I have been to school. Nipatiwa nafasi ya kusoma, kuenda primary, secondary, chuo kiku. Kwa ni tunataa kuwaribia wa toto wanazariwa leo. Because of our selfish interests. Uonde ujumbe, naambia wa Kenya wenzangu. Tuwe na utulivu, Tupende inchi yetu, tuko na inchi, nzuri. Lakini mambo ya kutishatisha wengine, tuwache. Tuwache na tuweke kando. Enough is enough. If you have uh, issues with um, me as a person, confront me. Not young, tondolas. Confront me as a person. Yo, sabu, unasema ikafunguliwe, enda fungua, siju hiko wapi mimi. Kwa nini unataka umeuliza nasikia wanauliza waruhusiwe kila street ya Nairobi wendo wakitembea wakiuliza Sava kwa Enanga Street Moy Avenue Juja Road Jameni kwa nini Sava anakaa kila pahali kwa jiji na Nairobi That's the message I thought uh, there is need for, for us to be very clear so that tomorrow whoever causes trouble we deal with them at Jelaumu mwenyewe and we call for your support, uh, my good friends from the media. This is our country, all of us. And may God bless you. Can I stop there? Unless they have any issue, you may want me to clarify. Do, do I start with a good lady? Please. Oh, Kasarani.
Ah, mambo ya kasarani. Si kasarani ni mtaa wa Nairobi. Kama vile tuko na mtaa wa Buruburu, tuko na mtaa wa Kilimani, mtaa wa Lavington. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have asked about uh, Kasarani, and I've told you clearly, it's among our beautiful estates in uh, this city. Right? Just like Lavington, Buruburu, Ruai, wherever. So if a murder occurs, we have a duty uh, to investigate. Um, so is all this issues have been brought to our attention and they are good at. They are being investigated. Mutuyote Akifariki is what we call is a sudden death. is provided at the criminal procedure court. You know, sudden death. So all these issues are being investigated. So tutapata kama kupata ukweli kama mutu kweli likuwa suicide, kama liwawa, I'm aware I've been this year has brought my attention. There is one case we have, we have, we shall go to court for exhumation. Because what we have done, we have ruka kutoka kwa 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 nyumba nyumba falani. Lakini tunangalia yoshimo, so we need again to have that body exhumed. Look at the dimensions. Pali yalitokea na mwili wake. So we are, we are doing thorough investigations, as I've told you, including exhumation. But as you know in the law, for us to exhume any, any body, we need a court order. Therefore, we are going before court. Because one of the cases you've mentioned, already the victim has been buried. So there's a lot going on. Whoever found culpable will face the law. Mambo ya picha, wale wali onekana kwa magazeti. Yes, sindio, tu iko mapicha tumepena kule inje na kesho, hata kesho. Kesho, tutachukua picha. Yote ataonekana, akibeba mawe, akibomua, akialipu mali. Tutachukua tuwa. Izo picha dadangu, dadangu, ntakueleza, angalia hii logo. Hii logo, I'm the president of African police. At the moment, as you are sitting, Kenya, we, 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 we have the EO seat. We cheer Afripo, African police. I'm the president of the Afripo, African police in the whole continent. Kwa hivyo kama hii jambo ilifanyika Burundi, I'm interested. Kama ilifanyika Rwanda, I'm interested. So don't worry, yes, it's true. So a criminal is a criminal. We work with Interpol, work with um, um, what you call Yapko. 14 countries. Ukifanya makosa Seychelles, I will follow you. Ukifanya makosa uh, um, Southern Sudan, because I'm, that is my responsibility of the president, as the president of Africa. So, yes, all those pictures, whether, whether from wherever, I'm interested in all those matters. Does not matter. Yes, if, even if, if you committed a murder, 2000, or even 1999, a murder file is never closed. You committed a murder in 1990. That matter is still alive. So whichever time it took place, you are a criminal. So we shall follow you up to your last day on earth. Yes, do. Uh, uh, on that, that is a very good question. That's a good question. Police have not asked for support. Please, any member of the public, anafikiria atakuja narungu, asaindie polisi, avana, we have our regulated button. 
there is a tear gas we use ambayo inatumika kisheria imeangaliwa iwezi uwa kama ni rubber bullet so ningeomba vile ombati ameuliza au wanataka kusema wanataka kuja kusaidia na polisi na rungu na panga tafadhali mkae kando au deal with you just like another criminal yote anakusema nataka kusaidia polisi ako na rungu ako na nini nitakushika nitakushughulikia nitakupeleka kotini nitadilu na wewe kama vile sheria inasema asante sana Mungu awabariki Sisa sawa. God bless you.